Maharshi, could you tell us about the 7,000 groups that are being established in India? Foundation has been laid. There are 21 groups in 21 cities which have 7,000 people. In India, the schools are not very large, some 2,000, 3,000, 500 here and there. So five, ten schools in one place. Like that, 7,000 in one place. And there are 21 groups practicing morning and evening, this technology of the unified field. They started this one or two months ago. And due to that, we see the effect very, very, uh, very profound, you know. The new government comes with a completely new aspirations, very profound and a lot of purification, as you would call it, is going on in the government, in public, everywhere. So the effect is very profound. Thailand is coming up with the 7,000 this weekend. But when we talk of 7,000, we talk of experts uh, who can lift their body. This is what they call hopping, you know? And with that, I think the East is taken care of more and more. I'm only worried about the summer vacation when the students will not be there for group meditation. So this idea is being conveyed to the, to some intelligent industrialists in India and some are beginning to respond. Because as long as the, uh, the students are available, there will be coherence in the country. It's like the lighted lamp and the light is there. You put off the lamp, naturally darkness comes. So this coherence in national consciousness, which is responsible for the upgrading of the achievements of the government. When during holidays it's not available, then there is a collapse of uh, richness in national consciousness. So I think our teachers there will be able to inspire some industrialists and they will be able to maintain the group practice during their uh, factory hours when the children are not true in the, in the schools. And this thing, you know, this uh, uh, proportion of positivity and harmony in national consciousness with the number of people practicing in groups, this correspondence has been very well established. More people practicing, more coherence in national consciousness. Less people, immediately the level drops. And immediately it's seen on the governmental activity. Some trouble starts somewhere, some opposition somewhere, some negativity, like that. Immediately it is seen. So, our efforts have been all the time, just on this level, this level. And we think there will be success. U.S. national consciousness is a miniature world consciousness. The miniature world consciousness. People from all, all the countries are living here. That's why we say it's a miniature world consciousness. Now, this being the case, U.S., if it has 7,000 keeping a high level of richness in world consciousness, then the hearts of the people 
of Hungary and Russia and Turkey and India and Philippines and Japan, from where all the people are residing here. The hearts will be in tune, in one with it. But if the, uh, the country doesn't have that square root of world's population, the 7,000, if it doesn't have 7,000 number, then the hearts here in this country, which make the national consciousness, will not be so full, will not be so uh, rich. And that will influence in the national consciousness. The quality of national consciousness will not be so coherent. That is why, for this country, which is a miniature world consciousness, it's absolutely necessary that it has that square root of world's population practicing together. Because this country is directly connected with all the countries. The hearts here are connected with the hearts everywhere. Just because so many Chinese are here, so many Russians are here, so many Indians are here, so many Nicaraguans are here, so many all the people from all the countries are here. And everyone has a, a very intimate relationship in his heart with the relations abroad in, the, in their own homelands. For this reason, it's vital that the national consciousness of this country which is a miniature world consciousness, should have that high intensity of coherence which will satisfy the whole world's population. It's very, very necessary. It's absolutely vital. 7,000 in US is a vital requirement just because it's a powerful country, so its obligations are to support the rest of the world. It's obligatory duty of this, of the people of this country, the people of this government, that no one suffers on earth. And it will be completely fulfilled, this great responsibility of this great nation will be completely fulfilled if the national consciousness is in tune with natural law. The country will be absolutely thriving with a lively breath, with a vital breath of natural law, and it will do good to all the people and all that follows from inner self-satisfaction and inner self-sufficiency, all that will be there.